Rosetta Vera this is Danielle this is a little bit of a different haul than usual um, late in August I took kind of a staycation because I had to use up some time so I, I kind of did a bunch of activities I dyed my hair blonde I went to the scrapbook um, expo I spent a day doing different things like um, throwing clay at a pottery place um, going to another place to make a candle um, a day at the mall. So I kind of was doing different things instead of just staying home in my staycation. So one of the, I shouldn't say one of the things, in some of those things that I did, I did wind up doing some shopping. So one of the places um, that I went to is this shopping center in Edgewater that has a lot of Japanese shops. So it has um, like Daiso, um, I think a shop called Little Japan and a Kinu Kaniwa. Um, and my daughter and I decided to go out there. We had gone to Daiso in a different town and, and definitely have been to the Kinu Kaniwa store in New York City. It's one of our favorite stores to go to. So we wanted to check out the one in Jersey. So unfortunately, it wasn't as impressive as the other store, like the store in Little Ferry and a store in New York City, but I did come home with some things from Daiso and from um, Kinu Kaniwa. I didn't get anything from Little Japan or um, the um, Japanese um, grocery store that they had on site in Edgewater. So um, Daiso, I've got a lot of the same thing, but let me start with the things that are a little bit different. Um, so the first thing I have here are some Rilakkuma magnets. Um, and then I also got some Rilakkuma bookmarks. Um, Pusheen is one of my favorite characters and then Rilakkuma is another one that I really do like, um, which I believe is Sanex. Um, so I picked up these magnetic bookmarks. And then I also got some sticker sheets from Daiso. So I didn't plan on buying as much in Daiso, but since I didn't really buy much from the other stores, um, I just spent most of my funds at Daiso. Um, so Daiso is like a Japanese dollar store, so everything is pretty cheap. Um, and they do have conversion charts in store, so you can see what 165 yen converts to. Um, then I got these little finger grips that have a cat shape. Um, when I was in a store, I was trying to figure out what they were. I wasn't sure if they were finger grips or thimbles, but they are finger grips, um, which come in handy when working with paper. So I'm glad I did pick them up. Um, let's see what else I have. I picked up these two washi tape dispensers that are stackable. Um, and part of the reason I got these is I have a washi project I'm working on using washi tape for um, iris holding. Um, I have way too much washi and I was trying to think of a way to use it up. And I remember that um, I could probably use them in iris holding um, for cards. So I figured this would be a, a good way to kind of hold the washi tape and the um, color schemes I'm working on and then also since it has that serrated edge it'll you know it'll cut the tape so picked up two of these these weren't crazy in price I think these might have been like a dollar 25 or something like that um but that's that Daiso also sells arts and craft supplies I picked up one of these palettes before from Daiso, but I kind of messed mine up with acrylic paint, so I wanted to get another one. Um, and then I picked up these little throwaway um, palettes. They're like 10 in a pack. I gave five to my daughter, and then I have five for myself. And then they had this double-sided tape, um, and just kind of wanted to play with this a little bit. I don't use double-sided tape that often when making cards. I usually use glue, but... 
Um, I just wanted to try this out since it wasn't badly priced. And then I picked up this set of horsehair paint brushes. Same thing, it wasn't badly priced. Maybe a dollar and change. So I picked this up. And then my daughter put this in my pile. Um, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. I think she said it's like um, for holding pens. Um, I think you kind of clip it onto things and it holds, oh, there's notebook paper in there. Um, and it's just something you could kind of clip to the side of your desk. So she gave that to me. I believe she bought this in Daiso as well. She might have bought it in one of the other stores and I just didn't see her do it. But um, I know it landed in my bag at some point during the day. <laughs> I think, matter of fact, I think it made you may be able to clip it to your shirt and have posted notes with you. And then adding to my clay and resin supplies, I picked up this little candy mold that makes little donut shapes. I'm like, do I have this already? I wasn't sure, so I picked it up again. And then I picked out these cutters, um, partially because I wanted the little dress cutter I, I already have something in the shape. I have hearts and stars. Um, I really wanted to dress, so that's why I picked this up. So now for the thing that I spent most of my money on in Daiso. Um, the last time we went to Daiso, a little fairy, I was trying to find these little baggies for my mother um, that were kind of in different styles and patterns and as I bought hers, I was like, you know, I can actually use these for storage for some of my art supplies, some of my stickers and die cuts. So I went back and this Daiso had a lot of different ones. So I did go a little crazy, but they're only like a dollar and change a pack. So um, I got these um, Hello Kitty slider bags. You know what? I'm not going to talk them all out. I'll just show them to you. So there we go. And you may be thinking, are you actually going to use all those bags for craft supplies? Look, I know some of them are going to go to my mother because she's going to want some. They're also going to be used for stuff in the kitchen. So, yes, um, it doesn't matter how many I bought. They're going to be used for something um, because um, we always need plastic bags around here. So those are all the different styles of bags I bought. And as you saw, some of them have five in them. Some of them have 30 in them, it's depending on how big the bags are. So let me show you what I got from Kinu Kuniwa. So I actually didn't get much from Kinu Kuniwa. Like I said, this, this shopping center didn't have as much as we expected. I bought one figurine, which I've already opened. I'll probably insert a picture of the box somewhere here. Um, and then I bought this stack of origami paper. This is cherry blossom um, origami paper. They're 500 sheets. Um, if you looked at my August haul, you probably saw the smaller book of cherry blossom origami paper that I purchased. So this, it just caught my eye because I just bought one. So I bought this the figurine I mentioned and then I just bought some buttons um so just some simple plant and cat buttons and that was all I got um from Kino Kuniwa so um next I'll show you what I got from the mall 
and then I'll finish out with what I got from the um, scrapbook and stamp um, expo. So continuing my staycation haul, um, these items I got from the mall at a store called Ivisu Life Store. So they actually have two of these stores in the same mall. One is larger than the other. One looks like a convenience store and one looks more like a toy shop. Um, so let's see, let me put this aside. And I'm sorry for the background noise. Nothing I can do is that time of day. Um, so the first thing I got, turn this light on, is this little Karomi stationery set. Um, so it has like a bookmark in there, some paper, a um, couple of pads. So I picked this up. So I think my receipt is in the bag. So if I can find the prices, I'll stick them in here. So that's the first thing. Then I picked up this Karomi um, wipe box. Um, if you follow me for a while, um, you might remember at Daiso, they had like the lid um, on the face and I had bought one for my mother. So I bought this one for myself. This is the whole box and I figure I'll keep my wipes that I use for art projects in here. From my memory, this was about $11. Um, I think I see the receipt. Is this the receipt? No, this is not the receipt. Um, okay. But I remember that was about $11. And then I got this one little coloring book. Um, there was nothing really, like, particular about the book. I just like some of the patterns. They're very tiny. Um, I probably would use either color pencils or my um, Crayola slimline markers. Um, my other choice would be to scan these and then blow them up a little bit. Um, that might, actually that might be where I go with this, is to scan them and then blow them up. But um, this was the coloring book I picked up. And then the last item I got was this little clay set so it's like a little ice cream stand you can make little ice cream um, cones and popsicles um, so I'll be honest I bought it more for for like the molds so I can use it in other projects so you get two molds you get four packs of clay or colored clay um, you get the little cone wrappers and um, I believe there's an extruder here and a couple other items so actually I think it's three modes um, so um, it gives you some idea how to mix colors um, so you got like red and white makes pink um, blue and yellow makes green we should all know that um, and then like giving you some other ideas how you can use the four colors to make some other colors um, so um, I think this was around six seven dollars I've seen similar things in Daiso. I've seen similar things in Miniso. Um, so I'm sure even if you don't have this store near you, if you have some of the other Asian um, stores, you can pick up one of these, but that's what I picked up. So I didn't spend much in the store. I think my total order was like $37, but those are the four things I got from the mall. And I just wanted to quickly show you, I felt like this container was heavy when I picked it up. So I was wondering, was there wipes, were there wipes already in it? So let's close that. Um, when you press the button, you can see that there are some Karomi wipes in there. And um, you just open it from the bottom, ouch, hang now, um, to change them out. And you'll see that there's some Sanrio flavor, flavored, Sanrio themed um, wipes in there so like your first time out you don't have to put any wet sheets in there but I have different ones and you can also get like uh, themed wipes from um, Daiso and places like that so just wanted to show that to you real quick 
All right, so I wanted to finish out this August vacation haul. So I had the opportunity to go to the um, scrapbook, stamp and scrapbook expo um, this year. I didn't go last year and then I think it was canceled the years before because of the pandemic. So um, I had gone in 2019 and I wanted to make sure I returned this year. So I picked up a couple of things. Um, I, I shopped. I was, I was, I would say I was, I stayed within budget. I'm not going to say I was frugal. I stayed within budget and I bought things that I felt like I really, really wanted and then, or I needed. So let's get into it. So, um, I went to keep it simple and I picked up this collection pack, um, called Vintage Soul. And it was because I like the moodiness of the colors. I feel like I've seen similar prints. I also picked up the sticker collection. I feel like I've seen similar prints from Echo Park. Um, but this one caught my eye when I first came into, um, into the convention. Um, but uh, I picked up a couple of other things from them. I'm trying to remember offhand while I'm looking at this because this is not in order. So this was from Keep It Simple. And then I also picked up, let's see if I can find it real quick. Because there was something else. I picked this stamp set called, um, what's it called? A Wee Bit Wicked. And this is their Best Witches stamp collection. Um, I did, um, look at the die cuts, but I decided not to get them at the time because I was like, ah, oh, I could fussy cut them. It's not that big a deal, but I may keep my eye on it and see if I can get the die cuts on a sale, but I appreciated that I could change the expressions because there's little stamps for the expressions and the tattoos and kind of make, um, make the stamps my own but i noticed this as well when i first walked into the convention so i believe there's a couple other things i have from uh, keep it simple but i'll come back to them so so i'm trying to keep these in order as much as possible so i did go to photo play and get a couple of things so i picked up these larger um photo polymer stamps because I have some paper that I really don't particularly like um, that I was trying to think of how I could use it in a different way. And then I was like, maybe I could like use white ink or like silver or gold ink and stamp over it and make it more of a background um, with these prints as the foreground. So that was my thought in buying these. I believe these were buy one, get one free. Um, and I feel like there was something oh. I'm so unorganized. And then I also picked up this stamp set um, with the attached die cuts and this stamp set. This one did not come with die cuts, but I did like um, the food items in it. And because I purchased these items, I got a set of paper and stickers free um, from PhotoPlay. Um, I do have a couple of photo play sets in my um, paper collection that I had purchased when I went to the 2019 um, Scrapbook Expo. So I do, I'll say this, they're like, either I really like them or I'm like, eh, okay. Um, <laughs> so like I said, last time I bought a bunch of photo plays, this time I was like, oh, I'm not really interested in any of the paper. But I did pick up these stamps and I'll be doing some things with these. So from our anthology, I picked up this embossing folder and this um, stencil. Um, I picked up quite a few stencils from different places. Um, stencils aren't something I have a lot of, so I wanted to kind of pick someone up something up and and that was kind of what I was kind of focusing on I was trying to focus on things that I don't purchase on a regular basis like stamps stencils um die cuts because those aren't things I really um order so I was trying to pick up those kind of things so um these two uh, floral prints kind of stood out to me 
at our anthology um, and because I did buy that um, paste I figured I can use that with the paste to get that little raised um, kind of pattern so these are poppies and these are alstroemerias um, and yeah that's what I got from our anthology and then I got some stencils from some other places um, I believe this is be creative that I got these stencils from and I got some other things from be creative just give me a second and I'll pull those out they were giving away this free marker to everyone this was kind of their freebie um, I, I guess I'll throw it in with my markers um, so we have those two stencils and then these two and they had the stickles on sale um, so I bought a bunch of colors of these stickles um, I really should have organized before I started this video three six yeah so there was nine different colors of stickles that I picked up and that is what I got from be creative it's like I gotta finish this video so I can put things away um, next I stopped at scrappy boy stamps I have been looking at them on um, their website for a while so I stopped in their booth and I got this set for, I mean, we all know it's Wednesday, but they're not calling it Wednesday, they're calling it Goth Girl. Um, one thing I noticed about Scrappy Boy Stamps, they are imitating a lot of IP and I'm just wondering how to get away with it. Um, so I got this set of stamps. Um, I don't think I got the die cuts, but I'm going to look in my bag and double check, but I got this set of stamps and then I got the under the sea paper. Of course, that's Little Mermaid, but I liked how instead of most of the time when you see Mermaid, it's very bright and colorful. This is very deep and moody. So I picked that up. Um, we have burlesque here. And then we have steampunk fairies. So that is what I got from Scrappy Boy. Yeah, I don't know how to get away with that IP um, thing. So that's that. There was a random seller who, but like everything was half off. And, I, you know, it fe felt like he was going out of business. So let me do all of his stuff next and then we can clear that out. Because that, that's what most of my bag is. Okay. All right. So there was some random seller who had a bunch of things half off. Oh, no, not even a half off. I think it was like marked a dollar. So I just kind of picked up everything that kind of caught my interest. Um, so we have some simple stories, um, Forever and Time, which these are ones I've gotten from like, um, what's that? It's one of my scrapbook stores that they do a, a daily deal. My brain is going blank right now, but these were all like $1. So this fancy pants designs, there's another fancy pants design, um, more fancy pants, Let's see forever and time. So I just kind of picked up everything that caught my eye that I thought I might use. Um, Again, fancy pants design. There was some Sticko and some Jolies. I still love Sticko and Jolies. Those are like the main thing, st um, stickers I used to use when making cards is Jolies. Um, again, some more Forever and Time. 
puff pop up stickers and then some simple stories here and these are the chipboard stickers and then they also had some stamping um, some stamp sets which I grabbed and this one has a the die cuts with it so yeah I just kind of grabbed a little bit of everything they had um, this was like as I was wrapping up my shopping so kind of took advantage of that dollar sale all right and then let's get to um, this is my bag. The last couple of things that I purchased. Oh, it's probably the easiest way to do it. Just pull it out the bag. Um, so, like I said, there were um, some other items I picked up from Keep It Simple, which were these washi rolls here. Um, I actually have a lot more washi than I thought I did. So, I have some idea what I'm going to do with it to kind of get my collection down um but there's some more washi and then um i went to the eyelet outlet and picked up some brads so we have some cherries here we have some typewriters um we have some pastel colored birds we have little dresses here. Um, this is thread, a spool of thread. And then some ice cream cones. And then we have some letters and mailboxes. Um, I don't use brads a lot, so I don't buy them that often, but I just purchased them because they were like marked down to a dollar. And then there's just different washi tapes that they had in a bin um, that I just grabbed some because these were really cheap as well. Let's see. Um, and like I said, I have some ideas for how I'm going to use up my washi as well. And then there were some ribbons on sale. So I picked some of those up. I don't use ribbons that often either. Um, and then I'm trying to remember, I don't remember where I got this runner from. So it must have been something random I picked up to kind of even out of price. Because I can't remember. Um, and then the finally, um, rubber necker stamps I picked up some stencils and one stamp set from them um, rubber necker I like their stamps um, because um, they do feature they have a lot of brown girl friendly stamps and I think I have almost all of the ones from their collection um, for some reason this one just stood out to me the images in it um, the girl holding the coffee um, the hands holding the coffee in the lap. It just kind of stood out to me. Um, I wasn't that interested in the wording. It was more of the images that kind of stood out to me and I picked this up. And then again on that beefing up my stencil collection, I picked up this leaf stencil. It's the wavy stencil. Vined leaves. Tree branch. And then um, cheesecloth stencil. I don't know why this caught my eye. Maybe it's because of the background they're using. I just, because it has that ombre, I think that was why I caught my eye. Maybe that's how I'll use it. I'll keep it in here so that it reminds me of that. Um, because it's like I'm looking at it, I'm like, what? Why did I pick this? But I think it was because I was looking at that ombre pattern in the back and it was catching my eye. And again, I was thinking about how I could use things like this um, with my dimensional pace, um, with some of the paper that I have that I don't really like. Um, just kind of how can I change it up a little bit. And then I had this other stencil. This was from all of those 
stickers that I got for a dollar. I had got this stencil as well. Um, so that is everything I picked up from the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Um, I know I had was really considering not going because the feedback I got about last year was that there weren't as many vendors um, as the years before. But actually, when I walked in, I was like, oh, there's quite a lot of vendors here. I was like, you know, um, this this wasn't, you know, like a letdown. For me to go, you know, I'll say the issues that I do have about going is it's only held in Edison, um, which is not very close to me, which means for me to take an Uber ride is a pretty penny. Um, and there's really nothing out there at the convention center. It's only that place. So it's like, you can eat there, but the food is kind of heated up food. When I went in 2019, they had some food vendors. This year, they did not. Um, some of the vendors there, and this speaks more to the um, economy than anything else, their sales weren't very um, competitive. Um, they, some of them were downright like, I, I think I can find this on Amazon. Like I could find that brand on Amazon for significantly less. There was one brand I was looking at that I came home and looked it up and it was like $6 on Amazon. But when I was at the convention, it was $20. And, you know, I, I would rather buy from a small business versus Amazon. But when the prices are that different is kind of like eh, I'll pass um, what I'll say is if anybody's thinking about going to the scrapbook convention if you're a person who is looking for um, to connect with other people who have a similar ha hobby not just scrapbooking not just stamping um, but other people who enjoy being creative um, it's it's nice to sign up for some of the events. I have not yet, but I've seen people come in as teams and really enjoy themselves and have a good time. Um, it is a good way to see material in person um, because like Scrappy Boy Stamps, I had looked at their website, but it was kind of like, mm, no, until I actually saw it in person. It was like, oh, okay, I think I, I, think I do want to buy a couple of things here. Um, it's also a chance to get exposed to some um, brands you may not have heard of. There was one brand that I really liked what I saw, but I had kind of, I knew I was close to my budget and that was the ton. Um, so I made sure I looked up their website and got on their mailing list. Um, so there's an opportunity to see, um, vendors that you don't normally come across. Um, the other thing I would say is, Sometimes you get an opportunity to meet the designers in person as well and meet these small business owners in person as well. And um, if you have challenges, talk to them and walk through those challenges. Um, what I would suggest if you go to any of these shows, like some of the brands that are carried um, in different places, um, maybe you'd be better off to shopping online by yourself. But some of these independent brands that you don't see everywhere, there was another brand, I can't remember offhand, but it was made by a Latina influencer that I had never heard of. But um, like I saw the stuff and I was like, who is this? And the papers are really, really pretty expensive, but really, really pretty, but I had never heard of her. So it gives an opportunity for you to see things that you probably wouldn't see normally online and shopping. So I was glad that I went. Um, and like I said, I stayed within budget. Um, I had a budget set for the day and I wasn't really counting as the day went on. I was just being mindful as I was shopping. And I, when I got home and added things up, I was like under budget. Um, I'll probably go again next year. Tickets are relatively cheap. Um, I think tickets are around $15. If you wait and look on Groupon or was it Gold Star, you can get the tickets for $10. Um, you get a free bag, a little free tote bag when you walk around. I forgot to get my booklet. Um, but I would just say, you know, it comes to different places across the U.S., but Edison is the closest for me. I wish they did something further up in North Jersey because that would be an easier commute for me. Um, but 
um, like I said, all in all, I had a nice day. I think I was there two, three hours and walked around a couple of times before I kind of made up my mind of what I wanted to buy. And um, I'm happy with everything I got. Like when I came home, I looked at everything again and I was like, yeah, I'm good with what I, what I got. I feel good about it. Um, so that's it, I think, for my August staycation. I think I've shown you everything that I purchased um, during my time off. Um, I, again, got my hair done. I went blonde. I don't like what color blonde it is. Um, that was kind of how I kicked things off. And then I went to the scrap stamp and scrapbook expo. And then I spent a day in the mall. And then I went, um, and spent a day just doing activities like, um, making a candle. I'll probably insert a picture here and making, um, going to throw clay at a local pottery, uh, at a local play studio. Um, I'll probably insert a picture here if, if I have it, I'm still waiting to get it. Um, and you know, spent a day with my daughter going to um, the Japanese shops in um, Daiso, uh, Little Japan, uh, Kinu Kuniwa, and the Miss. I'm trying to remember. I forgot the name of this marketplace, but it's a little marketplace in Edgewater, New Jersey. Spent the day with her. So, um, all in all, it was a good week. Um, probably. In September, um, I won't have um, as big a haul um, because I was doing this and I had two trips. I had one with my partner. We went upstate and then my daughter and I um, are going to um, the Baltimore Comic Book Convention. So probably my haul in September won't be as large, but that's it. Um, as always... Um, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.